In this tutorial, we're going to introduce Blender's Geometry Nodes and get the simplest of node projects up and running. Blender's Geometry Node system lets you modify an object's shape and properties using connected blocks of data. It starts with a group input node. This is the object's initial state and ends with a group output, which is the final result. You can edit and save node groups in the Geometry Nodes editor and reuse them, making your workflow faster. Let's take a look at how we would get a very simple Geometry Nodes project up and running. So to implement the simplest of geometry nodes, first of all, we're going to create a new file, a new project. So I'm going to apply the geometry node to this cube. If we look to the top along this toolbar and scroll to the right, we see this plus icon. Click on that, come down to general and come down to geometry nodes. And nodes editor will be displayed along with the spreadsheet, which we won't be using. The cube at the moment is selected, and this is what we're going to use to add the modifier to. Make sure it's selected and add modifier. Come down, we've got geometry nodes. Click that, and now the modifier has been added. If we hit new, what will happen is we get the group input and group output. So the cube at the moment is connected to this. So the group input is the object's initial state. The group output will be the final result. Anything in the middle applies a modification to the object. Let's give it a name. So come out to geometry nodes. I'm just going to call this transform. This can be whatever you want. Just give it a name. If we come out to the add, let's come down to geometries and operations. Let's use the transform geometry. There's something really simple. We've got a number of different options here that we can use. So I'm going to use the transform geometry. We now get this node and we can place it in the center. Notice what's happened. The geometries have connected up. So we've got our group input going to geometry on the left hand side and the group output on the right hand side. This is a single node. We can have multiple nodes in here. They all work from left to right. So connecting one to the other by the inputs and outputs. Watch this cube now. So I'm going to come in, let's zoom out a bit, and change the X, let's say to 45, and click off. It's disappeared out of the screen, so let's bring this down. And you can see that changing that translation has effect on that geometry. And the scale. What we've done is basically created a very simple node project. And this sits as a modifier over here. So for instance, if we created, say, another mesh, let's come over to meshes and put in a cone. I can click the cone, add modifier, geometry nodes. And if I use this button on the left hand side here, drop this down, within you'll find transform. If I click that, you see that this node modifier has been attached to the cone. We'll hide the cube. You can see the cone has now been affected. When we save the project, this is saved with it, and we can use this in other projects. So that's a really quick introduction to getting a node project up and running with the simplest of geometry nodes. I hope that was useful, and I hope to see you in the next video. If you're enjoying these videos and you would like to support the channel, then you can do so via my Ko-Fi page. That's at ko-fi.com forward slash mj3d studio. Any donations will be used to help to span the channel. I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you again soon.